for me, it's indeed very interesting to uh, have uh, the ability to uh, give a series of his presentation for now for quite a few years, right? Because that allows really to, uh, you know, show a process, right? Uh, a progress, right? And I think it's very interesting, at least for me personally, to see how things are uh, changing release after release, uh, uh, year after year, right? And uh, not uh, only in the code base, but I think in the ecosystem, uh, ecosystem as a whole. Uh, and then uh, thank you for placing the laptop so I can see the uh, all the crowd. I think that's uh, that is very cool. Oh, hey, you know some people wave, and that's uh, fun, uh, uh, fantastic uh, govern you have. And uh, you know I am uh, so much looking forward for once. So, uh, sometime not having a conflict in my calendar so I can join one of those events uh, uh, in person. Okay, well, uh, with that out of the way, uh, let me get uh, started. And uh, you know what, uh, uh, one thing before uh, going in the comparison of uh, specific uh, uh, versions, right? I think what this is a very, uh, interesting times in uh, uh, in MariaDB ecosystem, right? Which I think is would be uh, interesting to uh, to acknowledge, right? Uh, on one extent, uh, we see significant amount of uncertainty, right? I think is, uh, especially as it goes to their MariaDB, you know, corporation. You guys may heard about some, you know, warnings from the stock exchange. There is this kind of, you know, buyout uh, uh, proposal, right? Which I know uh, me uh, the, uh, is getting a lot of questions in this regard. Hey guys, what is exactly going to uh, to happen, right? That doesn't mean the outcome uh, uh, is uh, uh, going to be negative, but that means there is of course increased number of um, uh, uncertainty in the ecosystem, right? And obviously I think some of you guys have still heard uh, the plans of uh, Azure to retire uh, MariaDB, right? And uh, I particularly didn't quite like in that announcement the desire to say, hey guys, you know, move to MySQL. There, I think it would be fair to also to highlight another alternative. Well, because you can run MariaDB uh, as in any open source database in any cloud, you just have to do it yourself. And I think for many, especially those who love MariaDB but have to run on Azure, that may be more feasible option than to uh, migrate to uh, migrate to uh, to MySQL. Now I think there are also some uh, other uh, wonderful developments, right? One is uh, uh, AWS has joined as a you know diamond sponsor, right? And I think it should be euros, right? Not uh, dollars, right? As I understand from the uh, uh, board, I mean, which is a very uh, significant contribution. And I think it's uh, great to show in the path of uh, MariaDB uh, Foundation and MariaDB project as a whole can be more uh, independent on uh, their uh, fate of their uh, MariaDB uh, 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 corporation or MariaDB PLC. And what is also very interesting here is uh, as I looked at the uh, board minutes, right, which is now a piece uh, I like to review before uh, doing those presentation. I can see this very, is a very great uh, energy and, uh, at the board levels. And I think it's also very good quality of uh, uh, board minutes and a great transparency, right, which actually you sometimes don't see in some of those uh, uh, other, uh, you know, foundations, right, where you can see, well, you know, just file in some minutes to sort of like show what we are transparent. But I think here we can see actually meaningful, uh, you know, discussions uh, which are available to uh, to the public, right? And I think that continues being trust, uh, building trust with MariaDB ecosystem. Uh, here are some highlights which I found quite interesting, uh, right? Like one, I think this is an uh, um, uh, interesting suggestion of uh, uh, increased compatibility for MariaDB uh, with uh, with MySQL, and I think that is especially important, right? As we will talk uh, uh, later, what we can see increasing focus from Oracle on uh, doing things uh, as a cloud only, right? A lot of cool innovation from uh, in the MySQL side, unfortunately, has became uh, cloud only, and specifically, 
Uh, the second su su suggestion here is very relevant, right? Is uh, uh, making uh, MariaDB uh, support with kind of a new uh, fantastic movement with AI, especially generative AI, right? And this kind of uh, uh, vector uh, storage, right? Where you can see uh, a lot of, uh, you know, databases uh, has added some support for vector search and uh, with uh, MariaDB and, and MySQL has been, uh, well, uh, has not been ahead, right, in this uh, in this development, right? And I think uh, Oracle did some stuff, right, in cloud-only version, but again, who cares about that? Uh, and what I also was very glad to see is this, um, I would say, uh, I see what uh, MariaDB Foundation Board sees, uh, their relationship with MariaDB PLC uh, getting better with a new uh, SEO and the management uh, and management team. I think that is again can be uh, fantastic for whole MariaDB community because, well, uh, let's face it, right? MariaDB uh, PLC still is a very uh, the important uh, player in the ecosystem as it should be. Okay, uh, with that uh, uh, out of the way, um, uh, let's uh, talk. Uh, about the conventional content of uh, of a presentation, uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, really talk about the MySQL and MariaDB there uh, they are and what is uh, uh, what is uh, uh, happening. So, uh, from development model standpoint, you folks, uh, many of you probably have seen this presentation before, right? Uh, we don't see. Uh, a lot of changes uh, in uh, uh, this case, uh, right? I think if you uh, look in this uh, in this case uh, overall, what uh, MariaDB does uh, mm, uh, the truly development in the open. I think as you can also see from this, uh, you know, server fest and MariaDB on conference, right? Where you get uh, external contributors are invited and discuss, hey, what is going to happen. MySQL Oracle doesn't do such a thing, uh, uh, the, right? At least as a uh, open stuff, they have some meetings with some of the key customers, but uh, uh, there is not as much community involvement. Contributions are accepted uh, in uh, in the Oracle, but I don't think they are uh, encouraged in the same way. And also this uh, uh, approach uh, at Oracle where we have sort of like a dropship open source and every few months we just boom see oh that oracle released x right that actually discourages contribution because there is a chance what you are uh, working on something right and oracle working in that in a parallel but you just don't don't really know about it right and then boom you know three months later they release something what you uh, also were thinking to to work about right to work with which is uh, not uh, fantastic now, what is interesting also with, uh, uh, with uh, MySQL is what for years, MySQL has not been really something uh, significant in the Oracle ecosystem, right? You would see uh, uh, Larry uh, did not uh, talk about MySQL a lot. And I think that was actually good for uh, for MySQL because they were able to do things. They, uh, uh, they, uh, uh, they think... Uh, or they are uh, appropriate, right? Well, in the recent years, where uh, MySQL is out there in a, a Larry's mind, but only as a cloud database and only specifically as a cloud only heat wave technology, which guess what? Heat wave supposed to make, uh, uh, melt a snowflake, right? If uh, if you guys uh, uh, don't get the idea where uh, the name comes from, uh, right? And um, a lot of that in, uh, uh, innovation is uh, a cloud only and has uh, nothing to do uh, with their open source MySQL rather than kind of latching on uh, the name and uh, community and success, right? There, uh, a lot of stuff is going from AI support, right? And supporting virus like new vector extensions, generative AI, again, MySQL is also implementing that as a uh, cloud only mm, uh, only solutions which is uh, which is unfortunate want and send right and what i also heard uh, oracle uh, uh, folks right using some lame uh, lame excuses in uh, in this regard stating well 
uh, we do that because the, uh, the uh, various uh, ML extensions, you need more than one system to run on it. Well, guess, guess what, right? There are a lot of people running MySQL or uh, OMARIDV, right, on many hundreds and thousands of nodes, right? It's, it's not really a problem. Okay. Uh, now uh, let's uh, maybe again review what we are uh, talking about in case of MariaD, uh, MariaDB uh, uh, the ecosystem, right? There are a couple of uh, the, uh, big players. In this case, one is uh, uh, MariaDB Foundation, right? Which is, a, uh, as we all know, is a nonprofit focused on uh, uh, MariaDB, uh, right? And then uh, there are uh, also MariaDB uh, uh, PLC, which is still doing uh, uh, a lot of development in MariaDB, right? And it builds a lot of uh, proprietary solution software and SaaS, right, in uh, uh, in that space. And as I mentioned, uh, relationships uh, can be, uh, you know, complicated, right? As you can even uh, see acknowledged in their uh, board meetings. Now, what is interesting uh, uh, in this case is what uh, at this point, uh, MariaDB Foundation is uh, mainly responsible for uh, MariaDB server. Well, if you think about the whole uh, MariaDB ecosystem, there are uh, many uh, like other bits and pieces, you know, uh, uh, connectors or proxy as a max scale and whatever, right, which are uh, owned, managed by MariaDB PLC after with, you know, variety of li licenses, some open source, some of, uh, you know, source available license uh, as, uh, as um, uh, BSL, right? Uh, and uh, though uh, there is a growing amount of contribution coming from other uh, parties, there's still majority of uh, roadmap development uh, done by MariaDB PLC last time. Mm, uh, uh, I've seen. I think what is also interesting in, in this case, right, is uh, if you uh, think about the uh, board members, right, or, or the governance of MariaDB Foundation, you will find a lot of uh, faces which are very well known and respected in uh, the open source and open source database ecosystem, and uh, which is kind of very different from MariaDB PLC, where it's uh, well, uh, the typically very different kind of um, very different kind of um, uh, different kind of crowd. Uh, one of my uh, pet peeves, right, which uh, I have uh, highlighted from that kind of complicated relationship, is if you are going and say, "Hey, you know what? I love MariaDB. I love open source. I'm uh, using the stuff of MariaDB Foundation provides." Uh, you go, you download stuff from mariadv.org, and then you kind of uh, uh, get uh, uh, redirected maybe unknowingly to you, to MariaDB uh, Corporation, right? And encouraged to provide essentially the sales lead so you can be contacted by uh, salespeople, right? I think that so often is, uh, um, uh, is kind of confusing. Right, and you can even see here, say, hey, yes, you know what, you are giving your information to MariaDB Corporation, but then it uh, may share that information to with MariaDB Foundation. Why is that when I am, as a user, choosing to engage with MariaDB Foundation, actually? Well, what I think is interesting in this case, to quote to board meetings, uh, in uh, this case, I very much appreciate what uh, uh, probably, uh, you know, me kind of, uh, poking the bear about that, right? Uh, consistently uh, every year, right? Being uh, uh, being noticed, right? And I see that question brought up in a uh, broad meetings. So you know, thank you guys for whoever uh, made sure it's uh, uh, it was um, uh, discussed, right? Uh, and again, right? In this case, I understand why that situation uh, uh, has to be done, right? Because well, we all. Uh, 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 live in a real world, right? And, uh, you know, the developers and other folks, uh, you know, needs to be paid where they are working for, uh, you know, for-profit entity, for non-profit, right? So uh, there is uh, uh, a need to buy, find a balance here, all right? And uh, it is just m my hope, right, as uh, MariaD Foundation has uh, more support from a different uh, you know, different organizations that has uh, more options uh, in uh, this regard. 
Okay, uh, let's now talk about the open source, right? Of course, when they talk about open source those days, right, it's very interesting, right? As uh, typically we, sp we speak about the open source and then we mean kind of something else, right? It's kind of uh, maybe open core, it's maybe source available, it's maybe kind of uh, uh, open source if like, you know, cloud only stuff, which I don't think we even have like a good uh, uh, name for that, right? But I think it's very good to see uh, uh, always like, okay, what is exactly open source, which I can as a user use without requiring any vendor relationship and which is not, right? In MySQL, it is an open core uh, model. Now with, let's say some uh, cloud uh, only uh, additions uh, to that, but then there is uh, uh, what you can see the whole component exists in that open source version, right? There is uh, MySQL in a DB cluster, including, you know, some sort of, you know, uh, proxy, uh, you know, and uh, was, not which is in an open source uh, uh, the case. In uh, MariaDB ecosystem, the server is open source, connectant are uh, open source, right? There are some other pieces as um, uh, MariaDB uh, max scale, which was open source, but which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, BSL now. There are also, I think, uh, have been some other, uh, the, you know, hesitation to open source some or what probably is considered higher value stuff, right? Like uh, expand storage engine, which was, uh, you know, which came from uh, from a uh, from a uh, Clastrix uh, acquisition. From a position standpoint, if you think about MySQL, it's also quite uh, clear. The mm, MySQL enterprise is a superset of a MySQL community, right? So there is uh, nothing in you use in MySQL community which is not going to uh, to work uh, in a uh, in a MySQL enterprise, right? And you also, you also have like a very much uh, aligned. Uh, 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 the release schedule because that's obviously done by uh, by the same group, right? In MariaDB case, if you think about enterprise server, it is kind of more of an extended subset of community, right? I would compare that idea probably more to, uh, you know, Red Hat's idea, right? When you can say, hey guys, we had this, uh, you know, uh, mm, Fedora, which is allowed to innovate and maybe uh, you know, put some of their uh, earlier stage uh, ideas and then we peak and curate and uh, have only some of them available in our uh, uh, enterprise, um, uh, the enterprise grade, uh, 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 grade version. Now, one thing, uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, like, I see that as a, uh, very important area, right? Approach to their uh, cloud native. Uh, now, uh, one thing that is uh, interesting in Kubernetes and the databases right now, right, is uh, it is uh, really growing pretty fast, right? If you look at a cloud native uh, uh, community, uh, like surveys, you can see what the uh, uh, amount of uh, database deployments on Kubernetes has increased by 50% over last year. Right, so yes, Kubernetes was not designed to run databases and it was extremely bad for running databases and stateful applications for many years, but it is now uh, uh, graduated where it is uh, quite uh, uh, able to do so, right? And I think uh, that is what we see uh, uh, increased interest uh, uh, in uh, that space from people especially looking to achieve uh, more of that, uh, you know, cloud independence, right? Because obviously if you, you know, uh, locked into something like uh, Azure managed services is uh, A, you will have to, uh, you know, pay uh, the significant surcharges which have been increased. And then they are going to attempt to uh, define your roadmap, right? Like in this case, say, hey guys, you know what? We decided we're not doing that anymore. So you have to, you know, go technology uh, you like, right? Uh, uh, and that is where uh, I think it's very important to have uh, uh, support uh, for, uh, the, you know, Kubernetes, right? Uh, I would say like on par with Linux as a uh, deployment uh, target. And what I see often uh, is kind of an interesting, right? It's often uh, another world, right? 
a lot of old timers, right, which got used to uh, uh, running, uh, you know, MySQL, MariaDB, Ava database on Linux, let's say, oh my gosh, you know, Kubernetes is not complicated. It's kind of, you know, stupid, right? I don't want to touch that. But a lot of a new generation uh, of uh, uh, folks, right, they are uh, ready to do that. Well, uh, anyway, um, uh, if you look at the MySQL uh, ecosystem, which see they uh, implemented as a GA, the MySQL operator, I wouldn't say it is kind of particularly good. And I think it's more, I think, as a checklist feature uh, for them, because of course their focus is, hey, you know, if you want to run MySQL in the cloud, guess what? you go and run managed solution and it's even better because it has a heat wave, right? But I think that is a good opportunity for uh, MariaDB to provide a good alternative out there, making sure that Kubernetes is seen as a first class uh, deployment platform, right? And uh, there is a finally, well, MariaDB operator, uh, right? So I think it uh, has been in in development quite a long time, and I'm looking forward to see where we see finally, you know, GA uh, release of that uh, technology. Well, database uh, as uh, as a service, right? I think it's uh, interesting what uh, obviously MySQL and uh, MariaDB community versions are, uh, are available at uh, a variety of clouds. What I think in, the, in the, this case, though, you can see uh, what a lot of um, uh, second tier clouds, which are, uh, uh, you know, offering uh, uh, the database as a service for those days as well, uh, often they just offer, well, you know, MySQL, Postgres, right? Uh, not like a MariaDB Postgres, right? At, uh, at this point, right? And then there are uh, uh, also, uh, the, uh, so far, uh, if you look at uh, what uh, Amazon has uh, done, for example, a very improved uh, Aurora version, right? It's based on on uh, MariaDB. Oh, MySQL rather than uh, than MariaDB. Uh, in both cases, for MariaDB Corporation, oh, MariaDB PLC. Sorry, just uh, always going back to that uh, new name because MariaDB Foundation, MariaDB Corporation, right? It's almost uh, sounds like poetry, right? And then. MariaDB PLC is kind of, <laughs> uh, you know, break the flow. Uh, well, um, uh, anyway, uh, and as I mentioned, uh, if you look at uh, Oracle, there is a lot of push for uh, uh, for uh, Heatwave. It is an uh, interesting uh, approach to their uh, analytics, uh, of course, right? I think both uh, uh, MariaDB and, uh, uh, and MySQL they understood this uh, market. You can think about HTAP or saying, hey, you know, we want to have a single system which we can use for uh, analytics uh, and uh, maybe transactional databases, uh, right? And uh, MariaDB has a column store solution for that, which uh, both exist in, a, in open source, right? As well as um, uh, MySQL has uh, a heat wave. Now, uh, uh, maybe I'm kind of uh, wrong here looking at the ecosystem from uh, this standpoint, but um, I have uh, seen uh, a lot uh, more uh, column store interest than usage two years back. And I think uh, now you also have a lot of uh, sort of purpose built, uh, you know, column store uh, database technologies, which of course have a lot of um, uh, a lot more flexibility, right? How they design things, they don't have to kind of, you know, try it to uh, support everything, you know, MySQL does or have some uh, uh, other uh, restrictions which uh, have enabled uh, them to provide uh, the more, uh, more performance. What is the focus for those technologies? Well, if you look at, uh, at uh, MariaDB, right, I think initial focus was competing with MySQL on features and MariaDB really uh, initially released uh, the first version of uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of cool stuff, but then those features were also implemented by Oracle, right? And that is kind of not really a very good um, uh, sustainable uh, advantage. Uh, I think more recently, I think there was a lot of cool focus, which is either on um, uh, compatibility with uh, uh, proprietary databases to eat migration, 
as well as really thinking about their needs of both uh, uh, DBAs as well as developers, right? I think this is uh, what uh, um, my week and prize themselves, right? Being, uh, being close, right, to the various other uh, parties, right? Like, for example, uh, MariaDB, I think, does a lot more work and a lot of better work with uh, um, various Linux distributions, right? Like uh, aligning releases with, you know, major cycle and uh, other distributions, which MySQL uh, uh, does, not, uh, uh, does not really, uh, does not really do. Now, in terms of uh, MySQL, there was always this kind of a question to what extent uh, uh, MySQL is uh, um, uh, looking to implement some of the advanced uh, Oracle features. Uh, and uh, obviously, uh, uh, obviously they don't, uh, right? And I think there's still this kind of question going around to what extent it is uh, because uh, MySQL customers, they just really up approach databases in a different way and maybe uh, look on database being you know, more uh, simple or uh, to what extent that is uh, because of uh, uh, a restriction. So the MySQL team has operating in uh, the Oracle structure, right? And what uh, the um, you know, corporate overlords right, may, uh, may require them to do or uh, not to do. If you look at uh, architecture approach, I think that is also very interesting. And particularly, I see that uh, uh, coming to head uh, uh, right now, right? Where we can see their MySQL 5.7, which is a version which is, uh, uh, which is based on the older uh, kind of uh, architecture, uh, goes uh, end of life, right? And now you have to migrate to MySQL 8, even if you don't want it. Right. And we see what, uh, because of a very significant uh, changes, even though it, to, it has been out for MySQL 8 has been out for many years now, many companies haven't migrated and have a hard time uh, migrating that. Right. You guys uh, um, may have seen uh, Amazon extending MySQL 5.7, uh, uh, you know, lifetime. Right, because of uh, uh, customer demands, right, uh, and uh, also at uh, Percon we provide extended, uh, you know, post end of life MySQL support because there's a huge customer uh, customer demand for that, right. But uh, this is all saying to that what MySQL took a uh, took a bet on a very a big refactor in the MySQL. Uh, eight and um, uh, that obviously also has been hard for. Um, some customers to do uh, migrations. Um, one thing I also want to highlight for, uh, here is I think uh, um, uh, the certain decisions in uh, MySQL um, has been kind of a little bit kind of disconnected from reality, academic and uh, more than a practical, which have uh, implemented some needless complexity, right? Sometimes you read about, you know, certain things implemented, it's like, well, you know, that, uh, needlessly complicated. And I know what, uh, that is a case where many MariaDB users uh, appreciate the more, um, more practical uh, approach uh, in this regard. Now, another uh, difference I think, which uh, we have seen is uh, uh, MySQL is super focused on in a DB storage engine, right? I think it's increasingly, uh, the, in the DB, we don't even hear a lot about the MySQL cluster uh, slash uh, uh, NDV those days, right? The product exists, but it's kind of, we, we don't hear much uh, uh, much about it. Where uh, MariaDB mm, uh, has been supporting uh, multiple storage, uh, storage engine to uh, much more extent than MySQL. Though, of course, I think still majority of uh, Data store in my in MariaDB probably uses uh, in a DB as a storage uh, uh, storage engine. So let's look at release um, uh, release frequency. I think this is kind of also very uh, interesting. What we can see what uh, in terms of MariaDB there is um, a lot of uh, releases coming up, especially uh, recently. Right, we can see this. Uh, uh, new approach where MariaDB produces both. Uh, um, you know, uh, LTS releases every couple of years, uh, and then um, uh, 
uh, more of your short term support uh, releases uh, in uh, uh, the in between, right? Kind of to balance both desire some developers to get access to the new features uh, faster, and then desire for stability for uh, other maybe more uh, enterprise usage. What is interesting uh, in this case is with my, uh, MySQL took uh, another batch, right? Another big change of MySQL 8, where before that, uh, you would have um, sort of bug fix only in minor releases, where in MySQL 8, uh, you see every release comes with a new features and uh, also bug fixes. You know, MySQL 8.0.34, right, for example, is a very, very different in terms of what features it has compared to their first uh, uh, 8.0 uh, releases, right? But the fact, of course, there is more risk in uh, upgrading, and which is especially uh the problematic because uh there is no uh downgrade support in mysql 8 right so if you are upgraded to mysql 8034 and things don't work you cannot just you know replace the binaries with uh, 8033 right and fix it well uh, uh, chances are your data will be you know converted to enable some new features and uh uh, uh, their uh, 8033 would not be able to just work with that data. Right? I mean, and I know like for a lot of people operating uh, MySQL, that is not, mm, not appreciated. Uh, what is interesting is uh, Oracle also, I think, held this state back and they have been moving to something which is similar to uh, MariaDB, uh, MariaDB models where they uh, have now what's called innovation releases, right? Which are expected to be uh, released, uh, you know, every uh, every few, every few months, and which will be, you know, just uh, only supporting the last innovation uh, release, if you will, uh, and at the same time releasing those um, you know, sort of like a normal long-term support uh, releases, right? Which will um, uh, don't have as a big change between a stable version. So we'll, but we still to see how that actually uh, materialize and get and executed because we don't, well, it's uh, so new. So yeah, uh, that is uh, their uh, the release, uh, uh, the uh, release philosophy of what you have. And it's also have some, uh, uh, you know, links if you want to research more about what uh, um, uh, MariaDB uh, and uh, MySQL are, you know, uh, are doing. Okay, with that uh, and the little time we have left, let's uh, look at some uh, specifics, uh, right? So if you uh, look in this case, uh, MySQL uh, has been actually given a lot of focus from the client protocol to have uh, X protocol introduced. Uh, I don't think it has like a super tremendous uh, uptick so far. I still see a lot of people using the uh, older protocol. And I think this is again where uh, my uh, MariaDB2 kind of more um, iterative approach of extending classic MySQL protocol, like for example, uh, extensions for progress report, reporting, right? Rather than saying, hey, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, scrap and, uh, and, uh, and uh, redesign. Uh, right. Uh, I think what is interesting in this case, like thinking about that, I think what, what happened also in MySQL is this interesting thing about, you know, not invented here, but in the side of, a, uh, in the scope of initial company, right? I think what is uh, in uh, MySQL, then uh, uh, Oracle acquired MySQL, the uh, original MySQL development team was merged also with people from some other groups in Oracle. Right, which have been, you know, new guys with new with new perspectives, right? And in many cases, I think they wanted to uh, challenge, right, and make their own mark in terms of uh, redoing that kind of older, um, uh, older MySQL uh, decisions. Where I think uh, uh, MariaDB with uh, uh, Monty and everything uh, could uh, uh, keep much more of that, uh, you know. Uh, uh, legacy, right? And I'm using the word legacy in a good sense in, in this case. If you look in terms of like an uh, interface support besides SQL, uh, MySQL have been uh, uh, looking, uh, implemented the document store. And I think for a few years, there was a lot of push for that. I was using MySQL as a document database. 
I don't see that uh, uh, that particularly um, particularly successful. The MariaDB server has uh, only SQL and handler socket support, where of course vast majority is uh, SQL. Though uh, I've seen uh, you know some support in my scale for uh, supporting um, you know MongoDB uh, protocol. Right though, I haven't seen a lot recently about that being you know for uh, actually used uh, uh, a lot in, um, in in community. Uh, there has been a lot of focus on adjacent support for uh, both databases, and uh, th it is uh, different. Where MySQL uh, took approach, hey, we are going to implement adjacent data types. Uh, there, uh, MariaDB said, well, you know what? Actually, adjacent is text, while we just you know don't store it as text and just implement the freaking fast parser. So parsing adjacent is not. Uh, um, uh, is not a problem. I think for many releases, uh, you would see uh, uh, MySQL actually being significantly ahead of uh, MariaDB and JSON support. But I think in the recent releases, that gap has been uh, becoming um, uh, smaller and smaller. Uh, one, I think, uh, gap that still remains is the support for uh, JSON, uh, uh, JSON shortcuts. Right. And I think in a general, you think about the you know, usability. I think for modern developer, it is not a question of wherever you can do it, right? It's a question of wherever it is a convenient uh, to do things. And if they're not convenient, even if they're possible, right, they would not be, uh, wouldn't be used. The MySQL also took a different path when it comes to their uh, replication, right? Where uh, both MySQL and MariaDB has GTID support for those days, they are very, Different and their um, MariaDB used for sort of like like clustering support, uh, Galera replication. MySQL has uh, you know uh, implemented uh, like a similar but entirely different solution from scratch called uh, uh, MySQL uh, MySQL group replication. In terms of uh, SQL standards and compatibility, I think that is something where uh, MariaDB put a lot of work and uh, uh, excels, right? Uh, uh, it doesn't really come to mind anything significant what MySQL can do, what uh, uh, MariaDB doesn't, uh, but MariaDB does uh, you know, quite uh, uh, a lot of things. And it's not just about uh, compatibility of Oracle, but it is also, I think, competing with databases like, uh, like Postgres, right? For example, if you think about the sequence support I mentioned here, well, guess what? Like, a lot of Oracle folks, they use and love sequence uh, support, right? Where uh, MySQL has been, you know, just given a very limited uh, set of features in this case with um, after increment. Security is uh, uh, another thing which has diverged uh, very significantly, right? I think uh, uh, if you uh, look at um, uh, that, you know, until 10, 15 years ago, right? I don't think security was uh, at the same level of importance as this has become in, a, uh, in, the, uh, in the recent years, uh, right? If you know, uh, and uh, because of that, uh, uh, MySQL and MariaDB has independently had to be a level up uh, security, right? And they took a very uh, uh, different approach in, in uh, 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 in uh, this case. Now, uh, some of the significant, uh, I think, the uh, cool thing that I like in the MySQL 8 uh, changes is uh, their uh, dual password reloading the uh, TLS uh, content uh, without restart, uh, you know, dynamic privileges, and uh, their uh, password, uh, password policies. Optimizer is another thing. Right, MySQL uh, 8 uh, implemented a lot of optimizer changes. And now in MariaDB, especially if you go to MariaDB 11, again, they have very significant changes uh, in, the, uh, in the optimizer, right? And as somebody who is passionate about the database performance, right, that is something I always get people hate to think, uh, pay special attention. Because from a database standpoint, you should not be thinking only, oh, wherever the same query will work, on both database systems. The performance on also matters, right? If there is a you know, 10 time difference in performance, well, guess what? It's maybe you know, totally <laughs> impractical, right? For you to use 
uh, one or another data uh, technology, right? And the uh, optimizer can, the uh, differences can produce changes which are uh, even larger than that. MariaDB uh, comparability with uh, MySQL, right? These are, uh, I think, some of their uh, uh, newer uh, the additions to uh, to MariaDB with uh, uh, with MySQL, and I think MariaDB takes here a pretty practical approach, uh, right, in terms of seeing what features are the most used, and. Uh, by uh, supporting those rather than saying, hey guys, we're just going to copy everything, right? Like we are going to also implement a uh, doc store in MariaDB, even though there you know, may not be as much uh, user demand for, you know, for that feature. Here are some of the um, pretty cool things which I particularly like about the recent uh, my MariaDB um, ideas, right? I don't understand, like for example, why why for so many years uh, MySQL just doesn't implement UUID data type, right? People lo uh, love UUIDs, right? And there is a way to store them and process them more uh, more efficiently, right? And ne never came in existence, even though JSON data type, which is you know tremendously more complicated, was uh, implemented. Uh, log free replication is also. Uh, uh, very important, right? Again, uh, because if you just, uh, uh, even if you have like online uh, uh, alter table, right? Having delay for your secondaries, right? Of uh, many hours to implement that data change is kind of, can be very um, problematic. And I also like a, a grant to public feature, which allows uh, uh, a lot needs a security implementation. Uh, in many cases. Well, another topic what I uh, want to touch on in this case, and it's kind of like a newer and, and recent addition of a slide, which I was kind of thinking a lot about what kind of communities we need to be thinking about to make a project uh, uh, successful, right? And I think while we talk about one community, it's actually probably three communities you can think about, right? And, and I especially look at that, I think like if you compare uh, what you have of MySQL and MariaDB to something like Postgres. One, of course, it's the user community, right? These are people who use your software, uh, uh, right? And I think especially for databases, guess what, right? Relatively few people will have the skills to write the code in a database kernel. But there are a lot of people using a database where they find it awesome, they tell their friends about that, they maybe write an article, talk about the conferences and so on and so forth, right? And I think from a user standpoint, we can see, uh, um, but uh, MySQL and MariaDB both have a very, uh, you know, loyal communities, right? Now, if you think about the contributor community, right, that is uh, there. Um, uh, I think MariaDB has been a lot more uh, successful building relationship, right? Because I think in, term, uh, in terms of MariaDB, their uh, community of, of contributors involved in Maria's success was very important. Therefore, Oracle, it was kind of, well, you know what? We don't want people looking to contribute, to feel bad, right? So we'll accept contributions, right? But uh, if um, uh, if uh, there would not be much contributions from a, uh, from a community to MySQL, I don't think Oracle would shed a lot of tears. What I think is another one which is very important here, though, is uh, the vendor communities, right? These are the people saying, hey, okay, who is... Uh, uh, going to provide um, uh, uh, like solutions, right? If I am the enterprise with whom I can uh, have a commercial relationship, right, in uh, this regard. And that is what gives a customer's choice, right? Uh, and avoids lock-in. And that is what, in a practical sense, a lot of open source is about. You can see in this case, I think, very interesting how uh, PostgreSQL does it. Why there is a PostgreSQL event happening every week somewhere? Well, it's uh, probably because some uh, uh, vendors are participating in that because they can spend a lot more time and effort of organizing those events, uh, right? Compared to just, uh, uh, you know, other kinds of, uh, mm, uh, of community, right? And compare that on the other side, I think like, I always like to compare uh, PostgreSQL to MongoDB, which just, you know, the, uh, the, which are focused on, you want to have it all mentality, right? And not 
uh, uh, really encourage any vendor community to be uh, to be creative, right? And why I'm talking about this case, right? Because in my addition outside of um, cloud native, I mentioned, right? That is also something which is an opportunity for uh, uh, for uh, MariaDB to uh, encourage, right? To encourage. Uh, more vendors existing in variety of uh, 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 of uh, mm, uh, uh, in different places in the world, right? Which uh, help with uh, you know can companies to provide some commercial solution in the MariaDB space. Okay, well, and that's all I have, uh, and I think I still have a few minutes for questions. Hey, great, thank you, Peter, really good uh, additions, interesting additions and a good overview of all of this. And I can tell you that we are working on some of the, the stuff that, 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 that you mentioned, so, so stay tuned. But uh, let's see, what, what are the audience comments and questions? They hear Monty was saying Kubernetes is for losers. <laughs> uh, hi, Peter. Um, I'm glad to, you mentioned replication, something from this field, dear to my heart. But uh, do you uh, have any um, impression about parallel replication to compare in MySQL with SAS? What can you say if you try? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, look, I, I think that is a, a very good point, right? Like, and then I think that's one of the things where uh, the MariaDB and um, uh, and uh, and MySQL has a different approach, is uh, right in this case. Now, uh, I haven't like really run a lot of benchmarks myself recently, right? I mean, uh, it's kind of interesting as with many of those engineering approach, right? You talk to, uh, you know, MariaDB folks, you talk about uh, uh, MySQL folks, right? And they always speak, hey, you know what? Our solution is better for one reason uh, or another, right? But I, I can't really uh, say much more. Eric. Thank you, Peter. I was extremely appreciative of your comment that there's nuance, that it doesn't always, it's not always about what developers can do things, it's about whether or not it's convenient or easy to do things. And that made me think uh, that you probably have some ideas of things that you wish were easier in both databases or either database. And what are some of the things that, uh, that, that are irritating or kind of itchy that you would like to see if we could make more convenient. Yes, well, um, I think in this case, uh, uh, like uh, uh, I think about uh, it, um, this like uh, uh, one thing I mentioned, uh, I think is uh, uh, like a Kubernetes support, right? And why I'm talking about this, right? Because if you think about uh, the uh, old times, you remember, I mean, from even my times in my school, what is now like 20 years ago, right? This kind of rule of 15 minutes, mm -hmm. right? Hey, I get my work in database in the 15 minutes, right? And I run that on a, or like potentially can think about the, you know, server, which is uh, I'm running for, right? Now, if you look at the, uh, you know, current uh, environment as we have, if you think about uh, you know, even moderate production, just having a single server, it doesn't work, right? And that is where, oh, how do I set up a database cluster? It's not a 15 minutes anymore, right? And saying, hey, how can we get, uh, uh, get that so we can have in an open source convenience similar to what uh, I'm getting in the early assets of this world and, uh, and so on and so forth, right? Because that is uh, that is important, right? I think you also need to appreciate what uh, what uh, you know uh, DBAs are dying breed, right? I mean, the, in reality, in uh, many smaller organizations, there are no more DBAs, right? You say you think about like the developers, right? Which expect we can just you know uh, deploy the database in a couple of clicks, and that thing will run itself. That is what you got to give them, to, right? And it's not only that 15 minutes, but it's also how can I think about the, your database, uh, you know, tuning itself, 
right? I think that's kind of stuff about, oh, what both MySQL uh, and um, uh, MariaDB require a lot of tuning, uh, right? And that's why, you know, solutions like AutoTune exist, <laughs> right, uh, uh, in this case. And they are able to charge something like $500 per node for actually tuning parameters, right, of your database, right? You know, why? I mean, I think a lot of those things can be uh, uh, done by databases. Okay. So if you could go back to your sad face page. Which my what? Your sad face page in the beginning. I think third page or something like that. Oh, yes. yes. Page, okay. Let's go short page. Okay. About, about, so, yeah. about, so there's one thing that is missing there that uh, I'm much more... Uh, unhappy. Uh, one. This one or this one? This one. The unhappy face. Okay. Yes. So the one thing that you're missing there, I mean, yeah, uh, we need to fix that because uh, uh, Maria D D has not been present on Percona as uh, different uh, conferences, and uh, we definitely should be there, and uh, it would be great if we, we could have a much closer relationship regarding that. Yeah, well, absolutely. Like I, uh, th I think that uh, uh, th that would be uh, would be great, right? And I think there may be some you know opportunities to uh, to work better and work closely in uh, in this regard. So um, I think we uh, have time for one more comment, and that's a comment that I have uh, asked Martin to 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 say a couple of things of for something about Kubernetes, perhaps. Yeah, first of all, thank you for mentioning, well, I'm the maintainer of MariaDB Operator. So first of all, thank you for, for mentioning me. Uh, as you say, we are in uh, development, but yeah, we are quite getting some traction, so it's always good to see, to be mentioned in there. So my question is, what do you think it's missing in the Kubernetes ecosystem for, you know, encouraging these folks that are still running VMs or maybe, you know, just, uh, Installing RPM packages to actually move to, to Kubernetes. What do you think we, we are missing? What we could do better from the Kubernetes side? Well, uh, I mean, uh, in uh, in my opinion, right, my main comment was uh, in this case and saying, hey, it's important to release J, right? Because uh, in reality, at least in my experience, many people are just not going to spend time on that, right? For example, in terms of your corner operators, Look, uh, some serious people, if, which could provide wonderful feedback, just would not touch them until they're GA, <laughs> right? So I think that is the first uh, thing uh, I would uh, get in this case. Like, hey, you know, maybe it's kind of a limited feature set, maybe it's li limited application, but it's, uh, uh, you know, get that uh, 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 GA mm, uh, uh, done, right? And I think a second thing is goes back to that uh, uh, usability, right? How close you can uh, get for that, you know, Kubernetes is getting used, let's say, some uh, self-running database. And you can, uh, uh, you know, obviously have uh, a lot more, uh, you know, things uh, th those days, including, hey, you know what, we can automatically scale the database nodes, right? In this case, Kubernetes allows that. That's one of wonderful things, right? Or uh, in terms of uh, storage, new storage interfaces, you can actually even uh, give users by default, hey, you know what, you start with uh, the volume, which is, you know, small because your database is small. And, you know, you just never run out of space, right? Which is... Uh, uh, one of the big problems with databases, right? Because the uh, operators, uh, if you, especially if you run in the cloud, right, it's uh, known smart enough to extend the underlying volumes, right? And there is a container storage interface integration which allow that, right? I think this is a, a, a like, a, I think what is important, uh, I think this is it, right? You need to uh, uh, really think about what new things, what this Kubernetes platforms allows you, right? And leverage that in addition to what your kind of conventional fixed set of Linux VMs, right, the bare metal would, would give you. Excellent. So on that forward-looking note for the newer developers, I think it's time to say thank you to Peter Sykes. Thanks, Peter. Yeah.